Hi, y'all. Let's talk a little bit about some transgender issues because that's always a fun topic. Uh, the use of pronouns and what's my position on it? So should a, a person be called male or female based on whatever it is, or he or she based on whatever it is uh, they believe about themselves, or should it be constrained by uh, what they were assigned at birth? Uh, what's the right answer there? Well, there are two distinct issues, and uh, it, it depends on, um, or it turns on, what one has a right to do versus what one has a right to demand that other people do. Transgendered folks, the same as any other so far as I care, are free to identify themselves with whatever labels it is that they should like uh, to, to use. So not Look, if that does it for you, knock yourself out. That, however, does not impose upon me an obligation to participate in, in the same activity. I don't have to participate in accommodating you on your choice of what labels it is you want to be called by, particularly where uh, there are objective factors that can be evaluated that might, uh, that might bear on the subject. This isn't like an ideological label, like, say, being a Christian, and you look at a group like uh, the Westboro Baptist Church. Uh, well, they say they're Christians. I'm not a Christian. Uh, I'm not in a position to evaluate or to d decide whether or not they are or are not Christians, because there's that whole component about uh, a Christian, or whether or not they're the true Christian. Uh, you know, it has to do with the relationship uh, with their God. Well, uh, if there is a, uh, such a uh, being as God, and he's in contact with, uh, he or she is in contact with these people, I don't know the nature of that relationship or the nature of that communication. About the most I can say about the Westboro Baptist Church people is, well, you might be Christians, but you're really shitty ones. But I can't say you're not Christians. I can just note that you're really bad ones. So, uh, I hope you're not the true model. <laughs> that's, that's about the best I can say. Anyway. Um, this isn't an ideological label. This is a view about whether or not uh, a disorder that you have, gender identity disorder, does or doesn't bear on biology and, and uh, you know, sex and gender. Now, on one end, you get people who say there's no such thing as sex. It's a biological construct. Uh, how they explain the, the presence of uh, sex-specific uh, facts about reality is a mystery. I, I realize that sometimes they'll say, well, you know, people are born intersexed, and that's a third gender. Well, I suppose uh, if you're going to go down that, that route, then children who are born without a brain are really a, a new species of human, because after all, one of the defining features of being human is our large brain, the others being bipedal. I guess if you find people who don't have legs, then they are clearly of a different species. Anyway, uh, just uh, to get, because I know that not all the people who are, but whatever you identify as changes the reality. I realize that not all of your type of people are uh, geniuses. Um, I'm just going to say this as mildly as I can in a friendly way with a bit of a smile on my face. Um, intersex people and other uh, weird variations, other defects and uh, other birth defects and genetic defects do not create a new gender in the same way that being born without a brain does not create a new species and not having legs does not create a new species. Sorry, uh, uh, I had to spell it out for you like that, but I know that sometimes you guys are a little bit slow. Anyway, so yeah, look, um, if I have a friend who's transgender, I don't, but if I did, I may or may not use that person's preferred pronouns. But there are things that I do with my friends and my family, uh, courtesies that I extend to them, that I don't extend to the rest of society. Uh, my friends have um, a bit of a claim on my time and my respect. They are my friends, after all. You would think, you you would hope that I choose them because I like them and respect them and things of that nature. But you never know in this world. All kind crazy lives everywhere. But anyway, uh, they have a bit of a claim on these kinds of behaviors from me. And because I like my friends, uh, I will address them in friendlier tones than I might some asshole who is screaming at me, for example, some trans, some, some bad, bad, naughty, naughty, bad trannies were burning an American flag, demanding respect. Don't go burning my flag while telling me that I owe you respect. If you want my respect, you have to earn my respect. You aren't entitled to my respect. And uh, in addition to not being entitled to my respect, you have positively worked yourself out of any consideration of my respect when you go around stamping upon traditions that I hold to be uh, very important. My friends don't do those kinds of things, and I treat them friendlier than I do 
uh, people who are going to stamp on an American flag that they have set on fire. If you don't like that, well, I would say blow me, but I'm not in trannies. Now, these are the same people, uh, these are the types of people who want to insist that you have to obey their rules because reasons, but they don't have to uh, obey their own rules with respect to you. For example, you'll have them talk about how uh, if you are, if your view of what your gender is aligns with your biological sex, you are a cis, and you aren't entitled to be offended by having that label applied to you against your will. Now, I'm gay, I grew up in the South, and I have seen no shortage of boys who may have been gay, or who were perceived as being gay, being beaten while called sissies. I'm going to say this mildly. You're not going to call me a cis bitch. It ain't happening. I'm not taking that label. And uh, if you're going to call me cis, then I'm going to use the term that you don't like, which is tranny. And that uh, state of affairs is not going to change until you learn that if you want respect, you must first give respect. Anyway, so um, they think that because they have a right to call themselves a given thing, that that in turn imposes upon other people an obligation to abide by that. And if you don't, they talk about, oh, tyranny of the majority. Well, there's also such a thing as tyranny of the minority. And once we get down the road of saying, well, you know, this, that, or the other, whatever any small group of people want to be the case, uh, uh, that will thereby bind the majority, you are going to find that a lot of people are going to come up with some interesting minorities in order to fuck with you. Now, this is insidious, because this isn't simply censorship. Look at, like, the uh, I think his name is Jordan Peterson up in Canada, where uh, he's being threatened with actual state action, if he uh, or potential state action, if he doesn't use the pronouns that his students prefer, because that could be hate speech or whatever kind of nonsense the silly Canadians of... Uh, the Canadians in Canada have come up with this week. Uh, it's one thing to ban speech. That's bad. But it's actually worse than that to dictate speech, which is to say that when you ban speech, you're there just prohibiting someone from saying something that they know or believe to be true. That's bad. Worse is going the additional step and saying, in addition to not being able to say this thing that you believe to be true, you positively have to tell a lie. You must knowingly uh, say, you must say something that you know or believe to be false. And you must say it and represent that you believe that it is true. This is worse than simply being told, you, you may not do this, because it says you must go do this other thing. Now, in these conversations about rights versus obligations that may, may or may not impose upon other people, um, it's, it's, sometimes people will bring up things like, well, you know, we, you have a right to a lawyer, and therefore we give you a lawyer, yeah, in a criminal trial. Uh, and that's because the state is the one who's hauling you into court, they're hailing you into court, and trying to do something to you. And the rule there is that be, uh, they, can't, you know, they can't drag your ass into court and do all this unless they give you the opportunity to fight back on equal footing. If the state weren't the one who was uh, the, the actor in that case, if they weren't the one who was bringing the proceedings, you wouldn't be entitled to a lawyer at the state's expense. You could go hire your own lawyer for no particular reason because you're not being brought into court and, and do whatever you want with your lawyer. But there, it's because the person who is taking the action is doing something in an attempt to take away some of your rights, and therefore we impose upon them the obligation to put you on a level playing field, so that way you can resist their efforts to take away your rights, so that way you can hold their feet to the fire and make them meet their burden. This isn't that. This is just people who have decided that, for whatever reason, um, they, pr they prefer this pronoun or that pronoun or the other pronoun or all of them or ones you never heard of, whatever it is. Uh, which is fine, you knock yourself out if that's what blows your skirt up. Uh, but they then want to argue that that imposes an obligation upon me to participate in the naming of this thing in that given way. I decline very often. If you're my friend, maybe I will, maybe I won't, as I mentioned earlier. But as a general matter, no. Uh, you, were, you were born male, you have male DNA, or female DNA, whatever it is that, that you have. And uh, so you're male. To the extent that I will cooperate in being courteous with you and using your preferred pronouns, is to the same extent that you're going to be courteous to me. And uh, if there's one thing that the trans community has shown, is that it is not much interested in being polite to anyone. It wants 
to dictate. It wants power. It wants to prohibit people from saying things that they don't like, and far worse than that, it wants to go around making people positively uh, say things that these people believe to be false, which is evil. Have a great day.